What up, y'all? It is your girl, Crazy Karens, and I am here to let you know why I left Mary Kay. Okay, my friend, so this vlog is gonna be pretty long, and excuse my hair, y'all. It is just, my hair is wildin'. I'm just gonna let it be wild, okay? Let it be wild. But I'm here to let you know why I love Mary Kay, and this vlog is gonna be shared in multiple parts, probably three parts, okay? Because if I share it all in one video, it's gonna be just way too long, and I don't think anybody got time to be sitting in front of their mobile device or their computer for like 15,000 hours. I mean, maybe some of you do, but I don't think everybody does, so it just is what it is. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Before I share with you why I left, I just want to tell you some of the good that I got out of Mary Kay because it wasn't all bad, okay? It wasn't all bad. But here's the good. Number one, the products. Everything on my face right now is Mary Kay. I love the products. I have been using it for like two years now, maybe two and a half years. And I love the cleansing systems. I love the creams. The glosses are like my favorite. The foundations are not bad at all, okay? Granted, I have to constantly use um, translucent powder just to kind of set things in because sometimes it gets a little bit too shiny for me. But, I mean, you could see it looks it looks decent, right? Okay. I will say that not all of the products are great. Sorry, Mary Kay. If you hear my kids in the background, it is what it is. It's hard to keep them quiet. Which products am I not a fan of? I'm not a fan of the eyeshadows. Not at all. Sorry, Mary Kay. You have to pair them with, like, uh, a primer or some type of um, like liquid or foundation type base to make them stick and pop and that's annoying because I remember when I used to use MAC eyeshadows I would just take that sucker whoosh, put it on whoosh, and the color was popping okay even like the little eyeshadows from like Walgreens like those little duos that they use, like the blue and the yellow one. You remember? You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So those were better than Mary Kay. And if you notice, I have like kind of like this pinkish, peachish color. Okay? I like it. It's pretty. It's not even eyeshadow, y'all. It's blush. 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 Okay? But for the most part... I enjoy using their products and I'll continue to use them, you know, for as long as my skin says keep using them because y'all know your skin be changing and you got to change up your regimen now and then. But for now, it is okay. What else did I think was awesome? I enjoyed the friendship. I enjoyed the camaraderie. I enjoyed connecting with a bunch of women that I would have never connected with had I not been in Mary Kay. Random women from all walks of life. It was awesome awesome going to the meetings going to like the seminars and the retreats so the meetings whatever those big like area meetings that they would have it was nice to be surrounded by so many peppy happy joyful women dancing to the music and i mean if you're feeling down go to mary Kay meeting like i'm serious just go and you're gonna leave feeling really pumped and excited and you're ready to sell lipstick <laughs> <laughs> so I enjoyed that. And even though I'm not in Mary Kay anymore, I do have some connections with some of the women that are still consultants. And it's nice, you know, to reach out to them from time to time and, and vice versa. And it's nice to keep up with them on social media and see what they're doing. So I appreciate that. And I don't, I don't regret Mary Kay for that at all. Like, I, I appreciate Mary Kay for those friendships that I made. Another good thing was the stretching. You're like, the stretching? What do you mean? You know, sometimes you're just so comfortable in your own way of doing things and, like, you don't want to be stretched past your comfort zone. Well, Mary Kay stretched me because I, I was the type of person I was like, ah, I'll never go up to random people. I'll never call a bunch of people. I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to do that. No, 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 no. And then they encourage you so much with like, hey, just try calling two people. Try booking a party. And when I saw that I was able to do that, and that it wasn't as hard as I thought it was, I was like, oh, okay, I can do this. And, and it was, it was, at first it was uncomfortable to be stretched, but, but then it was nice because you started realizing things about yourself that you didn't think were possible. And, and I liked that very, very much. My eyes twitching, y'all. 
don't know if you can see it. You see it twitching? Gosh, it gets on my nerves. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Ooh, I'm about to go get some Botox. Get that sucker to stop. Now you're going to be looking at my eye the entire video. <laughs> it's okay. I still love you. What else? The prizes, the quarterly prizes. Oh my God, they were good prizes. I got a bakeware set, a whole bakeware set. The glass were like the Pyrex ones. It had the one cup measuring cup thingy. It had the, the two cup one. It had the big, big one that you could like actually mix, you know, like cake batter in. Came with a whisk and it came with those um, rubber spatulas that you can like scrape, you know, when you're making cake and you scrape the batter out. Nice. Like I use that set where all the time I use it and I think it's legit nice. Okay. Legit. I also got some, my, my son's in here. He's so cute. <laughs> Salud, puppy. So cute. Uh, what else? I got some luggage, okay, that I got from Mary Kay via a voucher because sometimes if you don't want to get a prize, you can just choose to get a voucher and then you buy things off of MK Connections. So that was pretty nice. I got a stamp that I use when I mail things. Like it has... um. K for my last name and it has my last name written out and my address. It's like a really nice monogram stamp. I got some pens. Uh, I got a set of business cards and y'all the business cards were legit. Like when I see consultants getting their own business cards and they're like the floppy little cardboard cardstock type of paper and then I saw the quality of my business cards, I was like, yeah, MK Connections, legit, okay? A bunch of little things that I got that were awesome. So I like those prizes. The weekly prizes that you would get at the weekly um, area meetings, they weren't that great. Y'all, they were dollar store prizes. And the directors will probably beg to differ. They're like, no, they weren't dollar store prizes. Yes, they were. Stop lying to yourselves, okay? Don't allow yourselves to be used by the devil. Dollar store. Little pencils with like fuzzy things on the end and, and those little like, you know, like your number one superstar, like little... You know, banner things that you put? I forgot what they're called. Like those certificates that you pin, whatever. Dollar store. Nothing wrong with a dollar store. I'm a frugal mom. I love me the dollar store. But don't tell me that you're giving me like like legit jewelry when it's like like wholesale dollar store stuff. Whatever. The bracelets that we would also get like if we placed a certain amount of orders within a month or within a quarter. The bracelets were cute. They were like those little like thin wired ones that have a little charm and so the goal was to like get them all for the year so like your wrist would be filled with all these charms and they would jingle their wrists and you'd be all motivated like i want to jingle my wrist i want to jingle my wrist jingle 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 and so you would want to get all the bracelets but at the end of the day i had quite a few but my bracelets started um fading away some of them were breaking some of like the encrusted jewelry on the bracelets just you know, they were just falling off. So it wasn't like 100% legit, like Swarovski crystal. Oh, my son's hitting my tripod. Papi, you can't stand here. Okay? Bye-bye. So, I mean, they were cute and they were cool, but... There he goes again. Stop, Mano. They were cute, but they weren't, you know, like legit jewelry. Whatever. But I liked them, okay? The Cadillacs. Them Cadillacs were straight up real. They were not fake. Mano, out. The Cadillacs. The Cadillacs were real, y'all. They were not fake. I remember going to my first retreat, I believe is what it was called. And when I pulled into the parking lot and I saw a sea of pink Cadillacs, I said, oh, okay. Y'all real. <laughs> but it's not just the Cadillacs. They actually have career cars. So if you're like a new director and your unit for the first time made like 20,000 production, then you, I think, were eligible for like a career car. It's like a smaller compact car, but it was a car nonetheless that the company did give you. But you don't keep the cars. They're not yours. They're company cars. They're yours if you continue to keep up with the production. But that'll be in another video, okay? But at the end of the day... The cars were real. It's not a myth. They are real. Okay? They were nice. 
And then, you know, my director would always do these like little motivational competitions within our own area, our own group. And she would do lots of Kate Spade handbags. And so like, for instance, if you came on board and you had 10 women that would watch the link that you got and connect with your director, then she would give you a free Kate Spade bag. And it was legit because one of the girls on my team actually won a bag. And I was like, oh, this is true. This is cool. But for me, I'll be honest with you, I did not care for that handbag because that handbag to me, my kids are crying. I don't know why they're crying, y'all. Get away. Get away. My daughter's right there. Okay, we're just gonna let her hang out with us. <laughs> Okay, so, um, told you about the Kate Spade bag, right? So, all in all, the, the prizes were cool, and the camaraderie was cool, the leadership was cool, the fact that they were able to bring out in me that self-motivation that I had lost. I felt like I was a very motivated person before I became a mother, and then I kind of got stressed out with motherhood and kind of lost my zest. And Mary Kay helped to bring that back. So I am 100% appreciative of all of those things. However, I had to leave. I could not, I could not, I could not find it in my heart to stay. There, there were just certain things that just weren't aligning with my personal core values. And I just felt that there was a little bit of a lack of integrity. And... And so you're just going to have to keep watching the vlog because I'm going to share that in a future video. Okay, but for this one, we have come to the end of all the good things of Mary Kay. And then when you tune in again next week, I'll tell you a little bit more. As always, my friends, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below, share this with your other friends. And, and I really hope to see you back next time. Love ya.